a staple of modern metal sound nowadays is the distinct ambience that precedes heavy breakdowns and builds the tension greatly. You may be exploring the modern sound and aiming to dial in the ambience for synths or clean guitars. Without the right approach to the reverb though, you're unlikely to achieve it in the modern way. In this video, we'll walk through a couple of approaches to dialing in the right ambience to your clean guitars in the context of modern metal. Best reverb that I could find to try recreating the shimmer effect and still fail to do so? It's not bad, it's pretty lushy and the tails are nice and long and ethereal, but it doesn't give that shimmer feel, it doesn't sound modern. Whereas... almost sounds like aliens are landing. It creates weird shifted effects that are hypnotic to our perception, that float and that really, really create deep atmosphere. Hey, I'm Dr. Mike Trubetskov, I'm a scientist of metal. And I'm here to bring valuable information for your modern metal production and mixing as I'm learning the modern side of things and share what I learn as we go. Like and subscribe, mate, to never miss it out. Let's do it. The ambience in modern metal creates a special two-tiered atmosphere. Ambience adds another layer of melody on top of the groovy chugs. The spacey melodic cleans carry through the emotional feel, the dissonance or catchiness of the song and bring forward the melodic message, whereas the low-tuned chugs and riffs create power and heaviness. The ambience also creates a major contrast and dynamics in your songs. It now builds from ethereal and detached feel into explosive, heavy breakdowns. It's no wonder why everyone in modern metal implements these reverb techniques, and it's honestly an awesome songwriting and production tool on its own. When we think about reverbs, the principle is actually similar to using a delay. Reverb technically is a delay effect with an almost infinite number of delay trays situated so close to each other that these become indistinguishable and behave such as the sound was reflected from a chosen surface. The key to different reverb sounds and algorithm lies within the construction of these trails, and such difference would define the modern or the old school sound of this. I feel like Shimmer was originally invented in Strymon Big Sky Effects pedal, which I never owned but have heard a couple of times and was utterly impressed. However, the shimmer effect itself is recreated by pitch shifting the channels of your reverb into the feedback path, resulting in pitch shifted multiplications of your original sound. The pitch shifting is the key to ethereal multidimensional atmosphere that we aim to achieve. The very specific pitch shifting does not introduce any obvious chorusing or flanging either, which would sound very old school otherwise, and we should avoid such effects in our modern productions. The shimmer circuit is also designed the way that the signal is significantly compressed or even limited on the way in into that feedback path, which results in a not very dynamic sound and which does not introduce any mud or buildup of the low mids whatsoever. When we think about modern metal shimmering reverbs, probably the closest reference that comes to my mind as of latest releases is Invent Animate Emulation of Night. Let's have a bit of a listen to the intro of the track and see what we have. So clearly the atmosphere is building, 
All the synthesizers have a bit of a shimmer effect going and the clean guitars have that undelayed with some delay effects which are a bit more upfront and obvious. However, the important consideration here is that the shimmer trails fill in this space and the sustain of the clean guitars and they allow them to shine through the heavier section where we still have the clean guitar going but it is less obvious yet if we only had transients and no sustain they would just disappear in the mix and they still are there because of the shimmer effect let's discover whether any classical reverbs can get us close to this sound at all we'll take a look at the current cover which i did a couple of weeks ago which contains a clean section with clean guitar uh, with my average playing this time around and we'll check out what can we achieve with some of the plugins, right? Starting off with one of my favorite reverb, which is Lexicon 2-4. to Plate algorithm. which I love the sound of, but it does not give that modern feel. And the problem is because the pitch shifting modulation is absent from the feedback algorithm. If we switch to a different mode, which would be a whole. Now this one sounds muddy. It immediately accumulates the lower mid-range, which we cannot have in modern mixes. This would lose clarity immediately. It's a big problem. If we now switch to a different plate plugin, this one by Sound Toys, which is also very, very favorable and sounds very high quality. Check it out. Again, that's not it. It sounds great. It does fill in the gaps, but it doesn't sound modern. And the reason is that's the wrong algorithm for the reverb to use. Now, I was searching relentlessly for you in order to discover a freeware reverb plugin which would give the shimmer effect, and I failed to do so. Because to date, there are none available. Either there are some old versions for Windows, which I don't have, all of them are paid. So, the simplest solution, if you want to achieve the modern atmosphere, the modern reverbs, the modern sound of that, is grab Valhalla Shimmer, throw in the default preset, maybe tweak it a bit, let's have a listen. There you go. Shall we stop the video here and just uh, call it a day? Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, this plugin just gives that sound and you don't need to spend time tweaking it too much, it just sounds great out of the box. Uh, you gotta be careful with the reverb modes though, as these sometimes do not provide the exact shimmer effect or they vary based on your material. Maybe for synthesizers they would work better, but for this clean guitar I notice they wouldn't. Check it out. Still not bad, but this mono sounds the best to me. So yeah, as easy as slap the default preset, tweak it a bit and call it a day. So instead of calling it a day and finishing the video right here, I would like to go a bit further and experiment with shimmer effect more for you in the mix and hopefully, as I haven't done it yet, achieving it with some other tools. If you own 
XFX. I would like to try experiment with some reverb algorithms embedded in XFX so that you can achieve the shimmer effect for your live sound too. So without further ado, let's go and experiment with the X now. So I spent a bit of time on some forums and I think I've come up with something that is decently close in terms of the feel to the shimmer effect that we've been experiencing in this video. So let's dive in and have a look at what you can achieve with the XFX2 for your live performance if you wish to have ambient ethereal shimmer sounds. So back to the current cover and here's what I was able to dial in with the XFX. <laughs> Now back to the original shimmer. Now X. And so, although this doesn't sound as nice, I think it does provide the feel that we are after. So let's dive in and consider how this is achievable. First thing first, Axe FX does not have a built-in shimmer reverb, unfortunately. And I scouted forums relentlessly in order to find it and was unable to. However, there is a trick. And the trick is the following. You can grab a reverb first, I've set it up to ambience, and then you can follow up the reverb block with the multi-delay set up to the plex shift effect type. What this does is basically multiplies the reverb trails with pitch shifting algorithm. And you can set it up here. So we have four different reverbs, one, two, three, and four, and we can shift it up to our preferences. Pitching higher will result in a higher sound and pitching lower will result in a lower uh, tone as well. You can also duck the delay so that it doesn't interfere with your initial signal too much. And uh, the, the dynamics is kind of squashed a little bit, which is preferable in this instance. Set up the mix on the delay block accordingly, maybe up to 50%. Right now I'm using Axe FX in parallel to my original signal, hence 100%. And glue it together with a small sort of reverb, uh, not much of it, a little bit. And that's how it sounds. <laughs> Pretty decent for your live usage, that's for sure, and it definitely creates the required um, effect. So, if you do not have access to Valhalla Shimmer and don't want to invest into it, which is fair and understandable, you could probably try using this XFX hack similarly. Grab your favorite reverb, grab a multi-delay which has a pitch shifting capacity. Again, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find any freeware in that regard quickly. However, you may have something already available to you and try chaining them together and seeing if this provides the proper effect. I hope that you find this video useful and I hope that this pitch shifting technique explains a lot of modern metal ambience style production for you. As always, Dr. Mark Trubetskov here, always happy to help, hit me up and until next time, take care.